Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to our new timing project, our first Pteranodon of the series, because in today's episode we are once again going exploring using my brand new saddle. At last, I can now fly around. It turns out this saddle is actually level 35. When I first started playing oh so long ago, I believe it was actually closer to 40. At least that's what I remembered it being, even if I'm wrong. But I was very happy to find out today I can actually use this already. Now, I was going to do some background work, start working, oh wow, that's bright. Start working a little bit on our stone raft here, but instead, I think exploring would be far more fun. See if there's anywhere of more interest within the center of Ark, and more importantly, try and find some of the Ankylos, or whatever they're actually called, the Stone Harvesters, to start speeding up my process, building a lot of stuff off camera, so each episode can have a bit more change to it, as I found the last few have been a little bit samey, so I hope to remedy that in the future. So, I'll be right back very shortly, hopefully with less dodos in the background. Well, now I have my drugs ready, we are pretty much ready to go on our little adventure. All I need to do is store some of the stuff I simply don't need to use, and we can hopefully find something to tame as well whilst we're out there. But first, like I say, let's figure out exactly what I don't need. Raw meat we can get while we're there, we already have some cooked meat, but it's not too heavy, so I'll keep it. Stone we can get, I don't think I'm going to need animal feces anytime soon, at least until I start a little farm. We can store all that, we don't need the oil. Uh, we don't need seeds at all. Fiber is absolutely whiteless, so that's fine keeping in the inventory. We don't need the spoiled meat, and we don't need the wood. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to keep with me. I do want to bring the narcotic, however, just in case we find an enemy like a... What's the word for it here? A carnivore we can tame, so we can use it on that rather than using the berries. Or just using it in general, because it's a nice non-rotting substitute for the berries. How long? The next time it eats, it should, should be okay to actually be tamed. But I have no idea how much it actually, ne actually needs. Let's use one more narcotic, and that should be enough there as well. Three, two, come on, tame a little bit quicker. I have a saddle for you and everything, and daylight is burning. And I may have just now remembered to turn off all the sunrise and stuff. So look, I'm not being blinded anymore. Fantastic. I really wish that didn't reset any, any time you change the gamma, or you reset the world, or anything, it all resets, and I end up forgetting my settings. Wow, this is taking longer than expected. Finally, we have the Pteranodon! Domesticated. I don't know how they did it, but I once saw a trio of Pteranodons with riders on them. This must be the fastest way to get around the island, but it can't provide any measure of safety or secrecy. That is very, very true, actually. Um, no name just yet. I'll let the comments decide a name on that. I haven't yet decided a name for our killer dodo, which is right there in the middle, but I will do for next episode. So, let's give you a saddle, which is somewhere. There it is. No, not in its inventory. There we go. So now we can go. Excellent. So this is a fast flyer, but it's incredibly vulnerable, dies incredibly easy, and can't go for a long distance. But it's still a lot safer than transversing all this land on foot. Bit of lag here, first I'm loading this area up. Oh wow, look at this. Hello. Oh, this is pretty. And apparently we are indeed taking the monkey with us. Oh, is that one of the, um, oh, what do you call them, the beavers? It is! How do you tame you? Oh my god, it actually looks like a giant beaver. I thought it'd be a bit different. That's amazing! Oh my god, I want thousands of you. Now you can collect wood, and there's something special about your saddle, although I can't remember for life of me what exactly it is. Is it, an, is it an aggressive tame, or is it a peaceful tame? Can't tell, because I'm stuck on the sodding flyer. Let's try it again. There we go. Where'd you go? Oh, look at it swim! Hey, yell. Okay, so it's an aggressive time. It's not coming up with the option to even feed it. Okay, that's fantastic, though. Not sure if I've got the saddle for it yet, but I really hope I do. You sit. Me, start changing some of these for trank arrows. Let's go with... Um... Ten-ish, maybe a little bit more. Oh, we could just do all of them, honestly. It's not a big deal. 
We can always find some narco berries to tame the thing. I'm assuming herbivore or omnivore. I actually don't know a beaver's diet. Oh, this spell got his loads. I hope they're not aggressive. If you attack one. Is that a saber? Or is that just a really angry t turtle chasing this parasaur? I can't see anything... Oh, God, that is actually a saber. Okay, we're out of here right now. Though, I would actually like a saber. And it is on its own. Okay, we shoot once just to start the poison. Then we run like cowards and get on our flyer. Aha! Fool! Now what you gonna do, Mr. Sabretooth? No, no, go, go up here. Up here. There we go. Where'd it go? There it is. Don't run. I want to love you. And, oh my god, we might get a saber. That's actually on its own as well. You, stay there. Oh wow, we may get a saber. That was not the intention. Hell yes. Oh, are well, you a pretty little kitty. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I'm, I am overly happy about this because normally they go in groups and they're an absolute nightmare because of that and they kill you. Now what on earth is that? Beaver dam. I'm assuming I use this, they attack me, so I'm not going to be that stupid. Well, I'll wait until that thing times. I'll sit here relaxing, I suppose. They're saying that we could get a beaver as well at the same time, but I really think they're all going to come for me at once. I don't know how fast they are on land, so let's get the Pteranodon to an easier to access location just in case the beavers do actually get to a state of killing me. This is a really pretty area. We could build up here. They'd be lovely. We could build on that cliff we were just on. Aha, there's a beaver. They are beavers, aren't they? That's the correct animal I'm thinking of. I'm assuming so. What level are you, first of all? Four. Okay. In your head. It turns out headshots do actually do increased torpor. Where'd it go? Ah, here we are. In the head again. Ow. In the head again. I know, I know, I know. I should have let the toxin... There we go. Don't throw poo at you, stupid monkey. Okay, you're okay. We're, we're almost the same speed as the poop. That's really weird. Stop throwing the poop at it for... Duh. Why didn't bring any berries? Can I not harvest the... Really, I can't harvest the pond lilies? Uh, not pond lilies. Uh, reeds? Reeds? They are reeds, yeah. Narco. I don't know what kind of berries it likes. Again, I don't know. It's, does it even eat berries? We'll find out very soon. Maybe it eats wood. I mean, th that would be a cool concept. Do you want some berries? You're not eating berries, okay. Would you eat wood? No, but you're not eating berries. Are beavers omnivores or carnivores in real life? I actually don't know. Oh. oh look, you've eaten something. What'd you eat? I'm gonna wait now until it eats again so I can see which one of these are its favourite. If it just eats this one, there's a good chance it's the purple berry like most animals. I'm waiting. Any time now at all. Please. Okay, yeah, so it does just eat regular berries, but its torpor is going down so quickly. It's also getting very dark at the moment. Um, Saber, how are you doing? You're doing just fine. Thankfully, you're, you're not eating very quickly, but your torpor is going down incredibly slowly. That means I can just focus on the beaver. So I'll be right back, hopefully, with one of the two, if not both of them, tamed. Well, that's a shame. It turns out both of the animals I'm currently taming, I actually can't ride just now, as I'm nowhere near the level for either of their saddles. I've also just saw that there may be a T-Rex just over there in the bushes. That's absolutely terrifying, and I'm really hoping it won't go towards the pond. Also making me rethink staying around here. Oh dear lord, that really isn't a Rex, is it? Oh, wow. 
how things just gotten from bad to worse. If that thing's if that thing comes near me, I'm dead. Please don't go towards the beach. I may actually go near it so it aggro's on me and then just run away. Guess who may, just may, have ended up accidentally using the beaver's thing? Answer is me. On the upside, this does mean that my Tranodon can get some much needed experience from killing these two knocked out beavers, as cruel as it is. And there goes almost all of my Trank arrows as well. Come on, there we are. Oh, these things give pelt! Oh, wow. Well, now there's definitely a reason to start killing these things. I am actually very tempted to simply leave the one I started timing because it's just taking so long. Not only does it run out of torpor very quickly, it's just, it eats so slowly at the same time. It's just taking forever. This one is like a third of the way through. That one is less than one eighth of the way through by now. So I may just kill that and move on after we get the saber. However, before I forget, I did look in the beaver dam, and it has cementing paste, which is sodding amazing, silica pearls, and rare mushrooms, and then a ridiculous amount of wood. I don't know if this regenerates over time, or what exactly happens, but that's fairly awesome. And that Rex is still terrifying me in the background there, running right towards the pond. Wow, that is scary. Actually, is that a... that is a Rex, isn't it? Not a... I forgot the name of the larger variants. Just the head looks a little bit weird. I think it's a Rex. Okay. Back to deciding if this beaver lives or dies. Well, there we go. It may have taken a while, but we now have our very own Sabretooth. Whilst not as fast as raptors, there's no denying the Sabretooth's increased resilience and power. In addition, well-trained Sabretooth can be taught to use their claws to fly corpses. So it's a skinning animal on top of being just a really cool mount on top of doing a lot of damage. So I'm really happy to have one of these so early on, even if we can't actually use it yet. With one spare narcotic. That took way too long. Okay, let's get on our Tranodon. And I'm very thankful that that very large creature isn't there anymore, although I'm not sure where it's gone. Is it called the... Gai uh, it's either a Geiger or a Giganto. It's one of the two. I think it's Geiger. I can't quite remember. Right. Either way, again, something I'll look up in the future. Okay, Tranodon, you can have some increased stamina because that's your main weakness. Come on, save it. Bit of lag out of nowhere. And just making sure the animal isn't here. Now, falling whilst I'm not mounted on you, you shouldn't take damage. Good, okay. Oh, I just realised it couldn't even get through here anyway. So, again, this is such a safe place to build. Offers a nice bit of protection from everything inside there. Only the small animals can get through. Of course, things can still walk around, but it's a little bit less likely. Although I am seeing something running... Oh, is that a raptor? Okay, you stay. Now, a raptor would be a good mount, and it's right there as well. However, I do only have five trank arrows left. Not sure. I think it's worth a shot, purely because we do have the bowlers we could have tested out on the saber tooth earlier, but thankfully, because I forgot about that, it means I have two ready to try out against the raptor, assuming it's not an alpha raptor, of course. I don't think it is. doesn't seem to be one. Please hit first time, that would make me so happy. Your running is really weird, why are you running away from me? Ooh, scary bowler! Yeah, that's right, run! Ah, Dilo, you scared the crud out of me! Oh, for Pete's sake, why? You crafty little bugger! Got ya! Oh yeah, someone got got in the legs, and a shot in the face! 
waiting for it. There we go, Night Night Miss Raptor. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I have no meat on me right now, do I? Here, have some cooked meat while I run off and get some more. Ah, this is becoming a rather good timing day today. Not sure about anything else, though. Oh, you happily killed a Fiomia just moments ago. Well, your meal is now my way of timing you. And I think I do have enough engram points to get the raptor saddle, so that's really cool. A nice hunting pet there, in case I ever do want any more meat. Plus, of course, it's just a freaking awesome animal to have. Our exploration is becoming just timing. Have you noticed that? Because I've noticed that. And your torpor isn't going down too quickly, but you are a hungry bugger, so that shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'm just going to cut this all out completely because we've been through the motions before. I'm going to stand around here, make sure it doesn't get attacked, probably kill that Dilo and harvest narco berries to my heart's content. Or possibly bring the, uh, bring the trike over, if I could talk, and use that to harvest berries instead, which seems like a much more reasonable plan. The glorious raptor is ours. If you'd like to read it, just simply pause the screen now. So there we go. We have our own little raptor. Now this one, I do actually have a name for for once. And you are going to be called Azula. Now Azula is actually the name of my tarantula in real life. So a bit weird to be given to a raptor, but even so. Azula, me and you are going to be the best of friends. And yes, I could make a saddle, even though I had to go out and kill loads of other animals. And I was bored, so I tamed the Dilo. Dilos are a lot faster to tame than raptors. Only one full day cycle though, so it was a lot quicker than the... Saber. Oh, and so much faster than my normal mounts. Oh, that is lovely. Okay, you and me are going to be firm friends, Azula. Bonus points for people who know where that name is actually from. Go on. Now I need two more, one called Ty Lee and one called May. Then I'll be a roaming ba band of just murder and mayhem. All of you get to stay there. On the upside, I did get a lot of berries, and in fact, we even have some spare narcos, so I will be using those to make some more trank stuff later. But for now, I'm actually going to put this raptor in here. Honestly, I already feel really attached to this raptor, so I feel like this is going to be my main pet from now on, so you get your own little spot here. But I am going back exploring, because that was meant to be the point of this episode, to explore the world around us. Thankfully not stuck there in the trike. So no more timing. I don't have the stuff to do so anyway. We're just going to go explore and hopefully get some supply drops as well if we see them. Like the one right over there, for instance. Let's go a little bit higher so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so... Nothing really too noteworthy just yet. A bit more lag now I'm high up in the air and actually seeing everything. Of course, this is a local world, not a server in any way, so all the brunt is on my computer. Oh, that's one of the flyers I want in the future. They're phasing in and out. There's a trike fighting a Kano. I've just noticed that my stamina is really low, so I'm going to land here. Oh wow, I just realised I can actually land on the top of the evil skull, or have a look over there. Okay, we're going to do that straight afterwards, but first I just need to land for a second. This counts as being landed, apparently. Maybe not. There we go, a nice little perch. Oh, we could build up here as well. Imagine building here and having like a little balcony to land on. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Having little perches like this so that I can fly around on my Pteranodon without having stamina issues. Without having to land in hostile territory. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I want to do. Off camera, I am going to be so busy. I may stream some of the stuff. I've been promising that recently with a lot of games. So if you'd like to see that, twitch.tv slash Lathrix. L-A-T-H-R-I-X. Are we safe here? Seems to be safe. Okay. Well, we just pooped, so that's a good sign. And this has got nothing I really care about. I mean, we could put that in there and try it out. Sure, that seems reasonable. Let's just try it out everything we have which is currently damaged. That seems like a really reasonable plan. Oh, I'm just picking them up, aren't I, rather than equipping them. Well, close enough. I knew what I was meant to be doing there. And finally the new headpiece, and there we go, a full health set for me. You, we're going to Skull Island. What on earth is that underwater? 
What is that? Well, I've just seen like a bit of ruins or something. Well, that's weird. I'm still terrified of the water though. The mantas and stuff since the recent updates are just freaking terrifying. Well, you're odd, so I'm going to leave that for now until I'm a bit safer in the water. What I really need to do is tame a shark, because I already ha I think I can already do the saddle for a shark, but once I do that, I can start levelling it up and being a lot safer, and there are way too many bats there, so we're going to come back later. Wow, there are bats absolutely everywhere, and they're going to tear my pteranodon to shreds, so I'm going to run away now like a coward. Never mind, evil skull thing, you get to be safe. Let's go to the nice non- um, populated island. A little dark, but at least it's very, very pretty. But sadly, I am in a bit of a state of disappointment. It turns out on the top of this rock, there's absolutely nothing. Not even enough space to really start building. So this island is pretty much the safest place I've ever found, but also one of the most boring. And with darkness becoming ever-present, let's head on out and start going towards the water drop-off just over here, the mega waterfall, and see what's going on there. Well then, not only have we found mammoths, we've also found direwolves. Now I'm fairly certain direwolves don't actually need a saddle to be mounted, so as soon as we get an Argent Avis which can actually carry these things, I'll have to tame one and bring it back with me. Still really cool though. Over here we have the mammoths, we have some stags, and I believe that's a rhino. I honestly didn't know that rhinos were into the game in Till this moment. Are you hostile? I mean, I, I imagine you're pretty bear-like and you might be aggressive if you get too close. So let's get too close to figure this out. No? You friendly? Okay. Woolly Rhino. Well, that's awesome. Can I pick up a stag? I doubt it. N no. No, I can't. Okay. Would have been cool. And there's little doe. Same story, sadly. This is why we do need an Argent Avis, but I don't think we have the saddle for one yet. Yeah, level 55. That's when we get a flyer that can actually do stuff. This little Pteranodon, as much as I do adore Pteranodons, they're just not that good. They have to sit every five seconds because they have no stamina, and although they're quite quick, they're still just not as good. They're really not. I can't even fight with them. They're good at quick escapes. I'll give them that much. Some more does. Aha! I see an ankylo. Or, ho or however that's actually pronounced. These are the animals that can harvest stone, I believe. Then it's the smaller ones which harvest metal. Or it's the other way around, I can't remember. Again, things I'll need to look up. It's been a long time. Every predator right there fighting. Okay, let's have a look up here. Here's hoping it's not too cold. Otherwise, we might need to go and get a fursuit. Okay, too cold. Never mind, we're useless here. I'm going to continue north, go towards the centre of the map, and as soon as I find something interesting, I'll cut back. I almost completely forgot about the gaping moor in reality that is that waterfall. Okay, let's see if there's actually anything at the bottom. By the looks of it, it's kind of hinting that the entire arc is kind of, you know, flying. Which is interesting, unless if I get close enough we can actually see the bottom, but from here... It certainly doesn't seem to have a bottom. It's an, it's just a bottomless pit, basically. Those rhinos look awesome. I really need to have a look on the Gamepedia just to figure out exactly what everything does now. There's so many additions. I didn't realise just how updated Ark it actually became. Oh, this is rather pretty and very idyllic. And if we look down, we see... The Void. Just utter nothingness. Well, that's just bloody weird, isn't it? I didn't expect that. I expected something to be down there. Not much, but something. Free camera. It does just go to nothing. I'm not even going to dare to go any, any lower than this in case it phases me out or something. Which I have a horrible feeling it will do. What's in the air? Like little blue bits. 
meant to be water or something? It doesn't look like water, like blue strands. Well, that's just... It's like confetti. We have confetti. Well done, you win! Increasing the stamina of my little pet. Well, I'm going counterclockwise, like I said, but apparently I'm going counterclockwise and just continuing along the edge of nothingness. I do see a predator there fighting something. What is it? More wolves? More wolves. Okay, stand down here for a second, then I'll fly off again, and once again, as soon as I see something of interest, I will cut back. Wow. This map is absolutely fantastic. And at least this time, everything drops off to somewhere we can actually go to. Wow. So this is here on the map, at 58, 15, 11, about 58, 11, something like that. And just wow. Something underwater again over there. I feel like I'm hardly even moving. This is me holding down shift just because of how big this place actually is. The Grand Exploration. Now that's a screenshot, look at that. A shark over there, but I do actually need to land, so that's the patch of land I'm going towards. Oh, look at the water being like bluish green, that is so idyllic. And incredibly loud because of the water. Oh look, there's even ore here. If I could ignore the noise. This would be a great- oh, so many good places to build. This map is so much better than the original, and so much bigger as well. I've been doing this now for a good two and a half hours, and I've only explored this. Well, I would count that as something interesting. Very pretty as well. So this is, according to the map, one of the most western points. A little bit further, and then the world starts curving back towards the north again. So underneath this, we have just a random amount of ice in the middle of a lake. Apparently also very cold. I've even been increasing my torpor, so... Sorry, not my torpor, my fortitude. So we know this is a very, very cold region. I guess it's also on the spawning zones. Well, it's over there. Ooh, penguins! Can I get a penguin? No, I can't. Perhaps I missed. Perhaps we can't grab them. We can indeed grab a penguin. Okay. So I am now stealing a penguin, and I am actually out of stamina, so that was the worst theft ever. Let's just make sure this thing doesn't drop me off. There we are, some nice stimberries. Let's drop the penguin here, there we go. No harm done, but there's lots of oil and everything over here, so if we need that desperately, we can at least go here. Which is, if we look at the map, far, far towards the left. Also, at some point, apparently I've been in the middle. Which is curious, and I don't actually know how that's happened. I'm, I'm assuming maybe that's when I spawned in. You two appear to be a little bit stuck. Well, goodbye. Now I've explored almost all of the west, it's time to start moving a little bit closer towards the centre of the map, and towards this really bizarre, which, which I thought was a man-made arch, but actually it does look pretty natural, if very, very weird. All I know is, I am so glad that I've not looked up any YouTube videos about the map, because experiencing this first time using the flyer is just absolutely breathtaking. I have never been so, like, awestrucken by a map before in any game. This is just so beyond the original Ark map. And I had absolutely no idea. So well done creators, you made a fantastic map. Continuing forth, now I've got a bit more stamina back, so where are we going? Okay, we're now going towards that place which was already un uncovered on the map. I feel like that may have been a spawn glitch, as I had th that, that exact same thing happen to me in my single player world on the regular arc map. It's just something to do with it tries to spawn you in one place when you set your spawn location, I have no idea really. Just it seems to happen to me quite a bit. few bugs, nothing too scary. 
and we have the pretty much the center of the map. I honestly expected a little bit more weirdness just because, well, it was uncovered for some reason and it's the center of this particular map. Perhaps I'm just going insane. The middle may not have been too interesting, but it was absolutely lovely to look at. Everything there is very pretty, but it's all stuff we've already seen before, just now in canyon form. However, there is this very hospitable looking island here, and the less hospitable island just towards the west. So we're going to land on this one, then we're going to go over there. Welcome to the island! So first of all we have this nice little cove which is inhabited by sharks and dolphins and then up here we have... What are they? Ooh! Crystal! We have crystal, we have metal and no predators just yet. I also saw no predators at all on the beach so perhaps this is quite a peaceful looking island. Is this the new herbivore island perhaps? Ignoring the sharks which will always be there because well, water. I haven't seen a single predator yet, we have been here for a while before I started recording again. Another island just out, and is that a couple of raptors? Ah, oh, darn it, ruining all the anti-carnivore fun, there are a couple of raptors on the beach, but still, considering some of the places we've seen, this is pretty safe and looks like an awesome building site. Also the water's here, which, mean, which means somehow we could probably get the raft around. Actually, quite easily, it's very, very close to where we're currently staying. Well, the original place we were staying, and even the place we moved to. So we could get the raft over here and perhaps start building here. As you can probably tell, I'm still on the lookout for a new place to build. I'm not that happy with the place we chose, sadly. So this is definitely a good choice. Is that a raptor or one of the egg animals? The oviraptor? The oviraptor? Whatever it's actually called. A few scorpions, nothing too big. Bronto. Okay, no Carnos or above though, and that's really the biggest requirement because they're the things which will actually kill our animals. A raptor would be just pounded to death by our trike. And our raptor. So with that, let's see if the burning island is as safe. Something tells me no. No, it isn't. I don't even know what to say. Let's count what we can see. Two T-Rexes, four Argent Avis, one of them just dying, three, four, five Carnos, three, four, five, six Scorpions, another Carno just appeared, every animal keeps on phasing in and out of existence, and there's also Sabres. I'm so glad I have some, some Stimberries with me because I'm going to ignore this island completely and head further towards the Burning Island, because right now fire seems less scary. Oh look, more Argent Avis. Ooh. And an Alpha Raptor! A sodding Alpha Raptor. Our first Alpha of the season. Of course, it's on this bizarre hellish island. It's Albino as well. Wow. Albino Alpha Raptor. I wish you were tameable so much because, well, that's just freaking awesome. But even so, we've actually found a safe place to land here. If we ever get one of the Geigers, we're going to have to come here and train it here, because this is just a well of experience and death. Mostly death. Is there a single herbivore here? I mean, there's omnivores, but... Actually, no, is there even an omnivore? No, the Argent Avis in this game are carnivores, aren't they? Nope, they're all carnivores. Well, we found Carnivore Island, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to ignore that and start heading towards the heat. I'm really hoping this doesn't actually cause burn damage, otherwise we're going to have to go away from it because I, I didn't bring any cloth armor. And once again, we have all the predators in the world. Including one I've never seen before. What's that? It's got like a fin on its back. What earth are you? Oh, I know you guys before you were implemented. I remember reading about you. You're the ones who lower the temperature of people nearby. Wow. And you're not actually aggressive. Okay, that's good. Volcano Island next to Carnivore Island. Both of them very unsafe. For different reasons. Actually, no, for the same reasons, this one just has fire as well. 
fire coming out of the ground, cybers killing things, me heading dangerously close towards an active volcano, because that's a good idea. I really do think moving to that island ah, would, would be a good idea, because things like this are also close by, so there's a lot to explore around us, and thus a lot of resources, but I'm afraid, as much as I want to continue, because trust me, I have had a lot of fun right now, I am actually all out of time, so thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, help out me, help out the channel, and most importantly, show that Ark Survival Evolved is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I don't really know honestly, we're either going to go back and start building up the rafts, or hopefully have them finished already, or maybe continue exploring, because there's so much we still haven't explored, so maybe we'll have a second exploring episode as a half episode, I don't know, but for now, thank you for watching. And goodbye.